Morning everyone, this is Kashiano Easy Math. We have another exponential equation to solve. 2 to the 3x equals 7 raised to 2 minus x. And we're solving for the value of x. And for those uh, new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. So to solve for this uh, exponential equation, I'll be doing it uh, two different ways. But actually, there are like four or five ways to solve this, but I'll be presenting two ways to solve. And the first one, I'll be using the logarithm there on near the last part of the solution. And the second one will be, I'll be using the logarithm, uh, the change of base logarithm, solve this exponential equation. All right, so let's start. We, we have to write the uh, exponential equation again over here. That's uh, 2 to the 3x equals 7 raised to 2 minus x and 2 raised to 3x is equal to 7 raised to second power multiplied by 7 raised to negative x we have just utilized uh, one of the uh, exponent rules having uh, let's say that uh, a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n we ended up uh, adding the exponent the same base multiplying but with the uh, different exponent we have to copy the base and add the exponents so that ends up to adding the exponent m plus n so that's what happened over here this just means that uh, I, I split the exponent with the, the same base 7 so that's why it got 7 squared multiplied by 7 raised to negative x that's the second part right of the exponent alright so for the simplify since we have this negative exponent right there we have another exponent rule negative uh, ne negative exponent rule that is a raised to negative m is equal to 1 over a raised to positive m so that means it's inverting from the numerator it will become the denominator inverting the sign the reversing the sign of the exponent from negative it will become positive so that will be on this one right here so we're writing this again so you have now 2 raised to 3x equals 7 squared times this is now on the bottom that will be 1 divided by 7 raised to x so rewrite again to 2 raised to 3x is equal 7 squared we ended up this term right here on the denominator divided by 7 raised to x if you know this no the uh, exponent x become positive now from early it was negative okay so from here we, we cross multiply that becomes 2 raised to the 3x multiplied by the denominator cross multiplying so 7 raised to the x power equals 7 squared and from here we can further simplify this one right here that is this part right here 2 raised to the third power is the same way as as 8 that's 8 right there 2 raised to third power 2 times 2 that's the same way as 2 multiplying by itself 3 times so that's 8 so if we have to write it over here that is 8 x now since 2 thirds 2 raised to the third power is 8 so 8 raised to the x multiplied by 7 raised to x equals 7 squared so from here now since we have the term right here with the same exponent this is the same way written as x so that's the same way written as 8 multiplied by 7 quantity raised to x is equal 7 squared that's the same 
exponent rule we uh, have just uh, utilized earlier in solving this problem. And now this becomes 8 times 7 is 56 raised to the x power is equal to 7 squared. That is 49. 7, 7, 7 times 7 is 49. So now 56 raised to x is equals 49. So from here now we start using the logarithm, the loss of logarithm. That is now log of 56 raised to x equals logarithm of 49. And in here, so that is, so let's say uh, the uh, logarithm rule is logarithm of uh, b raised to x, base a is written the same way as we're putting the exponent on the front that will become x logarithm of b to the base a since in here in this case this is uh, base 10 you don't see the base over here so but then that's the same principle so now we're applying this principle over here so that becomes x log of 56 equals log of 49 okay solving for the value of x we divide this by log 56 on the left side the same way on that on the right side this cancel so you go x is logarithm of 49 divided by logarithm of 56 so that's the exact answer So now that's the first method I used. And now I'm doing uh, I'm using the second method. All right. So let's write the equation again. That is uh, two raised to three x equals seven raised to two minus x. We'll be using the change of base formula for logarithm. And now so we start solving. So that is logarithm of uh, 2 to the 3x to the base 2 equals logarithm of uh, 7 raised to 2 minus x base 2. So we're employing the uh, logarithm rule over here that is uh, log of a to the base base a raised to x is equal to x. That means the logarithm of base a, logarithm of a, of base a, this cancels the a right there. So that means we ended up uh, bringing down just the exponent x. So in here now, we're negating the value of 2 right here, base 2. Uh, we're taking the logarithm of base 2 raised to 3x to the same base, base 2. So that cancels the base. All right, so we ended up with, on the right left side of the equation, just the exponent, that's 3x, equals logarithm of 7 raised to 2 minus x, base 2. Now from here, there's another law of logarithm that is the change of base formula. It is written this way. That's the log of, uh, of b to the logarithm of uh, b raised to x to base, base a. So that means uh, it will be written the same way as logarithm of b raised to x divided by logarithm of a. Now we have just converted the base a right here into base 10 logarithm and I, we ended up splitting the base exponent x and the logarithm of the base a which came up to the denominator of this now. So that applies to this one right here to the right side of the equation. So that is 3x equal to 
logarithm of now 7 raised to 2 minus x divided by log of 2. So it is split. And now simplifying it further, come up to 3x equals, if we bring down the exponent right here to the front, that is now 2 minus x log of 7 divided by log of 2. And simplifying this further, that becomes 3x divided by this, 2 minus x equals log of 7 divided by log of 2. Now in here, by using our calculator, we find the value of log of 7 divided by log of 2. So that becomes 2.807. That's rounded off to the three decimal places. And that is 3x divided by 2 minus x. And this now becomes 3x equals 2.807 multiplied by 2 minus x. Now all we have to do is find the value of x. Simplifying this further, it, this becomes 3x is equal to 2.807 times 2. That is 5.61 minus 2.807x. Transposing this part, all the x to the left, that is 3x plus uh, 2.807, that will be 5. 0.807x equals 5.61. So x becomes now there as, by the way, this one is uh, that 4 right there, point, uh, 5.614. So that's 5.614 right there. And so find the value of x, we divide this thing by 5.807, same way on the other side. And cancels that, then x is equal to, so that is, that's 0.96676, that's the exact answer, I mean, approximate answer by the way, that's x, x.96676, and if we take a look at what, uh, what we had on the first solution, from here, by using our calculator, we get the value of log of 49 divided by log of 56. That is 0.966827. So in comparison, 0.966827 versus 0.966776. So they're accurate on... Uh, up to the three decimal places 9.66 so that's the solution to our problem value backs so the discrepancy on the uh, on the amount of the uh, the calculated value when it comes to decimal form of our answers value of x so that this uh, attributed to the rounding off of numbers when it comes to exact answer this is the exact answer right here log of 49 divided by log of 56 so yeah that's all so this is approximate that means this value of x over here is approximately equal to the here but this is closer to the the actual amount of log of 49 divided by log of 56 so that's all for today and for those new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos I appreciate your time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.